Hey guys, welcome back to Mario Sunshine. I don't know how I got up here, and I'm a little scared now. Cause I don't know I don't how even... I'm supposed to, I don't know how I'm supposed to get down. I don't even know where I am in real life, man, so... I, I don't know either, you're not next to me, what's the deal? Um, uh, I'm... if, if I... Now, to be fair, normally I am just drunk out of my mind during Ginger Snaps, but I thought I remember you sitting next to me. I, so I was, so I have, I don't know if everybody has their, like, little Molly Ann maps where they're, like, getting a stamp for every location I go to, and at the end, y'all get, like, a prize, so... That's called stalking. For the first three months of this year, I lived in Ireland, right? Right. And then I lived in Ohio. Okay. And then I lived in Rhode Island. And sure. then I lived in Massachusetts. I... And then I lived in Ohio again, but in a different place, at home with you, and now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm living at the, at the in... black zone, at the, at the dead at the dead location. Yeah, and now I'm living in um, a 1980s camper in my friend's driveway. Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> hey, it's it's Mario. It's, nice. it's the guy that framed us. What? Oh, I thought our street about real cred. Life. It's gone because of him. I don't think we had. Street cred. I don't think Mario had street cred. I think he did. I, I think it might. I think it might be a microaggression for us to even say street cred. Honestly, I don't know. It, there, there's this line in the Sonic Boom cartoon that Bree and I watched all of together, where where they're trying to get Sonic to do something that's like really lame but would be really nice for someone, and Sonic says, um, "Eh, fine." Even though I know it'll do untold damage to my carefully cultivated street cred. And <laughs> that line just made Bree and, Bree and I lose our minds <laughs> laughing. Because it's like, first of all, the implication that Sonic has any street cred. Um, I think he does. I think and Sonic's then it's, a And then really carefully cool. cultivated street cred. <laughs> like, I, he, I, he is vain, okay? <laughs> Of course he is, are you kidding me? Of course Sonic's full of himself. Where is Shadow Mario, Molly Ann? I think, Where I don't know. But, Where did oh, Shadow I see Mario him. go? Where? To the left, to the left. Oh, I, well, oh, not oh, to the right. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. God, you're so smart. Let's do this. You see that what happens when we, when we cooperate? <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know. I think Sonic is actually a really cool dude. I think people, and I think like the people Ow. think he's cool and I, I don't know, I think he can have street cred, and, and, I, I, I don't know, I just saw, and I just saw a video. Got him. Um, speaking of him being really cool, I just saw a video of, um, of him in a compilation along with Shadow of characters that people think are black-coated. And I definitely, I, Who, Sonic? I was, yeah, I was thrilled. Yeah. I was like, yeah, hell yeah. Well, well, you know, Knuckles in the classic series was was oh, yeah. intentionally black coded. And then oh, yeah. because you know American voice acting is a nightmare. Um when yeah, Sonic Adventure got dubbed actor. Yeah, when Sonic Adventure got dubbed in 99, even though Knuckles' theme is like awesome rap. Um they just got like some dude named some white dude named Dan to voice him. <laughs> and it's just like okay. Dan. Let's, let's go. Like, yeah. you, you, know, you know how he sounds like a tubular 90s dude? Like, okay, yeah. let's go! That's that's definitely unfortunate. Um, I'd like to see Knuckles have a black voice actor for sure. And I'd love to see uh, Sonic and Shadow have one too, because yeah. Yeah. it'd just no, it'd be great. I am picking up what you're putting down right now. Hey, yeah. uh, we, we finally finished that first level. We got all seven of the <laughs> of the Shine Sprites. God, we, I'm gonna be we honest- We never have to I'm... go back. I didn't even know we were playing a level. I just kind of figured we were in fucking limbo at this point. Yeah, that's what like, it feels I'm, like. It really does. Like I, oh, we've shit. been playing. We've been here for like two months, haven't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. At least, at least. This is so? taking a long fucking time. Oh, um, I don't know if you heard, but I'm a gamer now. Oh, you're a gamer now. Whoa. Yeah. Gonna um, have to be careful. Yeah, you are gonna be. Uh, my friends here had a have a gaming laptop. They're letting me use, and they signed me up for Final Fantasy like what fourteen? It's fourteen point five. Yeah, whatever. 
and I'm a little Lollafell, just this little gal, and I'm a, I'm a gamer now. I fought wow. some evil trees. Um, I know how to use the A W S D keys now. It's W A S D. Um, I think it's A W S D. No, everyone says W A S D. I well, that's embarrassing for everyone else because I'm You're a right. Gamer. That's embarrassing that everybody <laughs> but you is wrong. God, um, hold yeah. on. Have they, have they that consulted happens. with Molly Ann? <laughs> um, I just got off the phone with the president of gaming. Oh. And, um, He's a war criminal. Well, first of all, like it's all a presidents. Woman, so, way to assume that women can't be war criminals, too. Oh, That's I'm not saying women. I'm not saying women can't be war criminals. I'm just saying you think the gamers would elect a woman? Well, she's not elected, actually. She's oh, got the okay. divine right of kings. Yeah. Okay, she she was she's royalty. <laughs> yeah, we're, gaming is actually a monarchy. Um, they actually, just say president to make it sound better. It it turns out she's just like the best gamer. It's like yeah. uh, it's like uh, um, once a year she holds a tournament where you could like dethrone her, but in forty years it's never happened. It's never happened, and she is immortal. You're immortal if you um, right. As long as you hold the crown. So yeah, so I just got off the phone with her because she and I were once uh, lovers, and oh. she told me that it is uh, A W S D. Oh wow, man! Yeah, I guess so. that's cool. Well, it's named after like A and W root beer because they invented <laughs> because, Mario. Because no, because of brand and integration. Then, like and it's then a SD, huge sponsorship. Yeah, and then SD for South Dakota because they are also the second biggest sponsor of all games. Yeah, and did you know that's actually where SD card got its name? Yes, is from it's a South, South Dakota card. It, because yeah. it's a card that came from South Dakota. Not a lot of people know these things, but now that I'm a but, gamer, but you know, you know, since like. You know, since I was once an aide to the to the um, high president empress of gaming, um, yeah, you know. she's an empress too. Right, I it, forgot it, about that. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, honestly, she's so relaxed and fair and just. I know she's pretty You can get back. her title wrong, and she won't even mind. Yeah, I just, just don't I call, call her, her like, Shirley. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, that's her that's her dead mother's name, and it makes her sad to think about. Exactly. So, you yeah, really yeah, yeah, shouldn't yeah, yeah. call her that. You don't, don't call her Shirley. Oh, yeah. hey. I love when crates have little tentacles to pull on. Me too. Shut up. Well, the then. The problem is, I posted about how... What the fuck is happening? Uh, what? something really hot is about to go down. Ew, shut up. I posted about how I started playing Final Fantasy, and everybody's like, what server are you on? And I'm like, what... I just designed my character. My friend set it up for me like I'm a child. They were like, here's the laptop, Final Fantasy's open. But I, I like, thought Yay! you were a gamer. <laughs> um, I am a gamer. I'm not a, a setter-upper. No. All I do is that's play the part game. Of it. No, that'd be I like play saying the I'm game. getting really into culinary, but like, you know, only when my friends prepare me food. No, it's like your friends put out the spatula and the skillet and then you start cooking that's so you're still a cook you're just not a prep cook there is a prep cook and like a line cook and everything right yes like, but so if I'm... you didn't know how to get a spatula i would be concerned about your cooking abilities doesn't mean that i can't get chicken to a safe temperature that's not the end all be all of being a cook i think it's a very important getting aspect chicken of it. to a temperature to a safe temperature, not just yes, a temperature. Just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to talk to the Empress about this. Um, go ahead, but she and I share a bed, so you're no, not you, gonna really convince You had a bad me. falling out. We did? When? Yeah. Over yeah. what? <laughs> oh shit! It's dead. Oh no, it's Over... not dead! Over me giving her salmonella with uncooked chicken. Uncooked yeah. chicken I made for her. It turns out <laughs> Molly Ann's I, claim am a gamer, of getting chicken to I'm a safe a temperature cook. was greatly exaggerated. That was, yeah, I don't fucking know. Was it supposed to be like 40 degrees Fahrenheit or something? Yeah, oh. that's what you want chicken to be. You want You know, like a few degrees warmer than a refrigerator. All chicken should be between 40 degrees and 
240 degrees, right? That's I would say those. that's fair. Only between those temperatures is safe. Under or over is unsafe. I honestly, like, how do you not have a show at this point? A cooking show or a gamer show? Because I have a gamer show we're doing it right now. Honestly, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> <laughs> if you're claiming to be a gamer now, you realize you're going to have to start bringing that to the table on your gaming show that you've been running for three years. I guess I, I could, like, stream some Final Fantasy, right? I don't know. Could you? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sexy. Um, listen. I'm a great indication that sexiness has nothing to do with your ability to stream. I know, because you're so sexy, but your streams suck. So, Damn. I don't... <laughs> there was no way to get out of that without one <laughs> no, insult. Because either your streams rock and you're ugly, or you're sexy and your streams Oh, suck. he's so, gone. Bye-bye, blooper. Which would hurt your feelings more, honestly? Well, I don't know. Would you rather be sexy or talented? We can't both have You both don't need like to I be do. talented if you're sexy. Exactly. I have no talent. <laughs> All I have. Yeah, I'm you just get people my... to set up your Final Fantasy laptops and then you, you sit I back did... and profit. You think, you think I used sex appeal to get my childhood friend, her boyfriend, and her brother to set up Final Fantasy for me? That's how good you <laughs> they are. They did it out of altruistic love. We're friends. I love them. What do you think sparked the first interaction, though? Um, we had... I think history class together? I don't know. Oh, you <laughs> have history, being, all right. I can't remember being 14. You I can't remember too much being... trauma between then and now. That's fair. That... <laughs> fair and valid. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't... I, I suppose. I think that's a wrap. Speaking you think that's not, a wrap? Speaking of not remembering things, I won't remember anything we talked about in this episode the minute we're done. <laughs> Mullion has no object permanence. But speaking, I... speaking of permanence, here are our patrons. You guys are forever. Or else. Or else. So help me God. I don't want to make anyone feel bad, but I take it very personally when people delete their pledges. Yeah. I, well, I do. Uh, so my Patreon launched this year right before the pandemic. So a lot of people like delete their pledges every month and other people pledge. So it's fine. And, like, logically, I know that, like, they were like, you know what? I'm saving money where I can. Or, you know what? I'm just not into this and I want to support someone else. So they delete their pledge. And I know that's their thought process. But in my head, I imagine them being like, this dumb bitch. She sucks. <laughs> I hate her. And I'm deleting my pledge out of malice. That's what I, like, imagine in my She'll mentally She'll probably just Ill. use my money to get another double mastectomy. <laughs> yeah, I, I fucking hate her. I, I hope if I could send a hate message with a pledge delete notification, if it gave me the option to call her a name, I would do that too. That's how like, that's what I picture people thinking when they delete well, my pledge. You, when in reality, are... they probably get a PayPal charge. And they're like, oh, I'm still pledged her. Uh, uh, I'd rather not be. And then they just delete it. But in my head, yeah. I'm like, they want you me guys, dead. You guys want a 300 <laughs> IQ play? Set your set your uh, Patreon username to Ginger Snaps fucking suck, and then pledge to <laughs> us, and you'll go in the credits. Yeah. With, with that name, we have to. <laughs> so like, there's nothing we can do. I know. I hate how every month someone like new signs up with like Molly Ann is a, and then it's like a homophobic slur, and I'm like, fuck, we have and to put that in. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> But we have to put it in. All right. All right. Speaking uh, of, those here the are the patrons. For a while. <laughs> here are the patrons. Bye. That one's my favorite. Whichever one was just on the middle of the screen. Okay. R tip your waitress. Wear a mask. Get out. Get out. Bye. Get out. Okay, I stopped recording. No, I didn't. <laughs>